Hey there. Kelly Mank, Executive Director for BNI Maine. We're going to continue the ABCs of BNI this week. And this week, our letter is S. And we're going to talk about selling. And how we're going to talk about selling is to try to stop selling, but still get the sale. How's that possible? How do we do that? Is it even possible to sell without selling? Absolutely. As Americans, as humans, as people, we hate to be sold to. However, we love to buy. I'm going to say that again. We hate to be sold to, but we love to buy. What's a good example of that? Have you ever walked in a furniture store or a car dealership and immediately people come up up to you and they want to help you? And what do you typically say? I'm just browsing. Most of the time, you're not just browsing. So either we're big fat liars or we don't want to be sold to or don't want to feel like we're being sold to. So how do we do this? We do this through education. So we work on educating people instead of selling to them. And most of the time, you can do education through stories. There's a saying that we like to say all the time, facts tell, stories sell. It's so true. So this week, we have two S's, stories and selling. So how do we use those? During your weekly presentations, are you telling a story? because there's going to be someone in that room who not only can probably relate to that story, but knows someone who can relate to that story. During your one-to-ones, are you telling stories? Are you giving examples of what a great referral was like or what a great client was like, or even what a bad client was like? Are you showing the emotion behind the stories when you're telling them? Because I bet during those one-to-ones, if done correctly, you're going to hit that piece. You're going to hit that heart. You're going to, the the people that you're having one-to-ones with will be able to relate to it or know someone who does. In your own marketing, in your own business, are you using stories to sell? Or are you just saying, I sell this, buy this? Or are you doing it from a story side? Are you doing it from an experience side? In 16 years of owning a printing company, I rarely sat there and said, I sell vehicle wraps or I sell business cards. What I did is I showed what we sold. I showed our work. I explained the the profit or the results our clients had after they had our work done, after we printed something for them. So it wasn't telling someone, hey, buy your brochure through us. It was saying, hey, we did these brochures for someone and check it out. They're, they actually just placed a reorder. They're going to be doing this a little bit differently. They are so excited. Because then immediately that person is thinking, oh, I wonder if that would work for my business. So how do you talk about your business in a matter of stories, in a matter of customer experiences? Stop talking about the products and the services that you you sell. Never go into a BNI meeting or a one-to-one and say, who's a good client for me? You. Because immediately you turn everybody off. Everyone's eyes and ears are closed. They don't even hear any words after after that. No one enjoys being sold to. People like to buy. They like to feel emotion. They like to know they're supporting someone they know. Remember, we do business with people we know, like, and trust. So start sharing those stories. Let people see the emotion behind those stories. It gets you to the next level. It changes your 
entire marketing, entire advertising plan. It changes how you talk about your business. So no more facts. I mean, granted, don't get me wrong. Some stats are, are fun sometimes, but no more facts. Start selling through stories. I hope this helps. I hope our S was fun this week. And have a wonderful week, everyone. Happy networking.